Hey everyone, how's it going today? I'm Crypto Foxy. Thank you so much for stopping back by my channel. So in this video, I'm going to give a quick update on HBAR. And uh, for all you awesome uh, Hedera HBAR fans, I'm going to uh, take a look at some technical analysis surrounding the HBAR uh, coin and see where things are headed. Uh, before we get into it, you know the drill. Smash the like button. And if you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. I, I uh, put out content for Hedera, Caspa, um, and many other different cryptocurrencies. And uh, this is one that I really, really like. And it's one I'm going to continue to cover for the long term. So Hedera Hashgraph coin price fell by 7.5% uh, the current week and showed initial signs of correction. So it did form a giant bearish candle that engulfed the majority of gains generated from November to December, where it went up, you know, basically um, very, very quickly. So buyers of HBAR are struggling to hold the price above the key EMAs. So it is showing a loss of momentum and reverted into a downward direction. So the 6.6 .6 cent level is one of the swing low supports seeing on the chart. The bears may soon attack this level and try to snatch control from the buyers. So that would uh, definitely drive the price down even further. The EMAs are acting as support. EMA support is getting weaker, so a breakdown could occur. Um, we can see the EMAs uh, you know, in here on the, um, the colored lines that are, appear on the chart here. Um, so we're going to have a look and see what some of this means. Obviously, I'm not going to get into too many of the technicals. Some people don't quite care to know about that but you certainly you can look at this article a little bit closer if you do feel like you need to the confirmation of the bearish trend will arrive when the price closes below the 50 day and 200 day emas so that's what we're looking at there in the chart the short-term traders should look for sell on rise opportunities as long as the price trades below the 7.1 cent level the rsi is sitting at 40 so uh, usually 50 and above means you know that there is bullish momentum so this is indicating a weakness in the price in the volume um macd curve reverses down and the histogram bar is red on that as well so it is going to continue to move down with a bearish outlook most likely uh, so the summary here um so the coin price is turning bearish sellers are ruling so they may drag the price even lower to six cents Analysts suggest that investors should look for sell on rise opportunities until reliable signs of a bounce are visible. So that does depend on if you are a long term or a short term trader um, or if, you know, depends on your, your trading strategy. Um, myself, I like to um, tokens like HBAR, coins like HBAR, I like to buy and hold for the long term because I do believe in the long term outlook of HBAR. Um, but, um, you know, dollar cost averaging is something that I do uh, quite often with that type of strategy. So I'll, t I'll look at big, big uh, swings to the downside. You know, maybe if we get like a 20% dip, um, I'm going to obviously buy a little bit more and add that to my position and keep hold of that over the long term period. Um, I, I like to do that with many of the top cryptocurrencies that I own. Um, that's just my opinion and that's just my trading strategy. You do what's right for you. Invest if you want to. Don't invest if you don't. Uh, think that it's a right thing for you obviously make your own decisions um, but we are looking at the resistance level of 8.7 cents and the support level of about 6.6 .6 cents so uh, take a look at the price here today we're sitting about 6.9 cents right now up about 1.43 in the day um, we do have some bearish um, macro factors coming in right now we have Evergrande which is a big uh, real estate company in China that has gone bankrupt and um, they are obviously uh, causing a lot of strain in the financial markets we also have you know China banned cryptocurrency again for the like, 15 millionth time whatever I don't even care about that anymore but um, so the overall crypto market cap is down to about 1.63 trillion just uh, about 0.12% decrease over the day Bitcoin is still sitting at 42.6 so, you know, it's looking okay. It's just kind of sitting around. We're still in that, you know, waiting to see what happens phase. Uh, you know, nothing's overly turning the market bullish right now. As If anything, um, things in stock, in the stock side of things is pretty bearish today. So, um, you know, we could see an overall cryptocurrency market move down um, to follow the stocks and to follow the, uh, obviously, the China and the Evergrande news. But, um, you know, it might not, hopefully it won't last too, too long. Um, but we're definitely keeping an eye on that as well. That's what I got for you in this video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.